In this video, we're going to learn how to inscribe a square inside a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and start by naming my construction um, square inscribed in circle number one. And now if I'm trying to put a square in a circle, the first thing I need is a circle. So I'm going to click the circle tool on the toolbar and I'm going to um, draw another circle and this is probably a good size for that. Now, previously we did inscribing a hexagon in a circle and we had to connect just the center point to this point that's on the edge of the circle. This time we have to use a line and draw the diameter which is going to go all the way across the circle. So I'm going to select the line tool and I'm going to connect the line from the edge to the center point. Now I also am going to need a point right here so I'm going to select my point tool and put that point on the edge. So this is my um, it is so the point from one edge to the circle to the other is the diameter and this line is going to be the line that is uh, bisected and that perpendicular bisector of this line is going to give us points to trace to create our square. So I first need to um, draw a perpendicular bisector of this line. So the first thing that I'm going to do uh, to accomplish that is I'm going to remember from when I was drawing a perpendicular bisector that I need a segment that is slightly longer than half the length from one point to the end point. So I need something that is approximately um, that long would probably work and I'm going to now go select the more tools and select the compass. I'm going to size the compass from this segment. Now I'm going to bring that over and this does go over halfway. It's not real far over halfway but it goes over halfway so it'll work. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm going to come grab another compass length and set it on the opposite end point and now I'm going to draw a line from the intersection of my two compass drawings. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab the point and I'm going to put a point where the uh, original circle intersects with that new line. And now I'm going to grab the segment tool and I'm going to connect around from point to point on my original circle. So I have this point to the upper point. I'm going to connect from that point to the original point we had. I'm going to connect from that point down to our bottom point. Now I'm going to connect from that point to where we started and now I have this square that is inside the circle. I'm going to go ahead and click save. 